What's good, YouTube? Hit me X. Make sure y'all hit that like, hit that sub, show your boys some love. So before I get to the breakdown on the Boston Celtics, I just wanted to, you know, give y'all this little quick nugget or whatever. Um, as you can see, man, Devin Booker, in rare category, in rare conversations, rare categories, when it pertains to accolades, um, as you can see, most games with 30 points and a game winning buzzer beater. Devin Booker has three. Um, he's right behind players like Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Gilbert Arenas, and Clyde Drexler. Whether or not you feel like Gil Gilbert Arenas is a, is a legend, it's up for debate. You know, I feel like he had legendary moments. But outside of that, Clyde Drexler, Michael Jordan, Kobe, and Larry Bird, all legends. And Devin Booker is right there with them. Right? So all this old nonsense that Devin Booker ain't did nothing. And he ain't built like that. He's not, oh, he ain't got the Kobe. Let's cut that out, right? And you're going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain why I'm bringing up Devin Booker in this situation. But like I said, man, I feel like a lot of people don't understand the type of um, player he is and what he could bring to a team, you know. In Phoenix, mind you, in Phoenix. But um, yeah, let's get to the breakdown. Let's get to the breakdown. Um, really, it wasn't nothing to break down too much, you know. Uh, Boston came out and did what they were supposed to do. You know, I didn't expect them to go down 0-3, um, especially to the Miami Heat. I just didn't see that happening. They they should be up 2-0 versus the Miami Heat. But um, like I said, circumstances, Miami Heat outplayed them in the first two games. They had the – they had the – um. They had more energy than the, than the Boston Celtics. And I feel like that's what they lacked this, today. Like, they didn't play with any energy, especially on the defensive end. Just played very lax and lackadaisical. Um, Jalen Brown had 26 points, seven rebounds, five assists, three steals, one block. I mean, outstanding performance by Jason uh, Jalen Brown. 11 for 17 from the field. You know, 64%. Two turnovers, which isn't bad. Um, Jason Tatum had 25 points, 14 rebounds, three, eight assists, um, nine for 20. You know, solid performance from him. Marcus Smart had 20, 20 and six, 50 percent from the field, so not bad by him. Kimber Walker had 21, six and two, a solid performance from him. I also had Gordon Hayward coming off the bench. He made a return last night, and I thought he was going to be on a minutes restriction, but looked like they trusted him to go out there and play. Uh, six points, five rebounds, four assists, three steals. Um, not really anything that's going to pop out off the um, off the stat sheet, but you know he did what it took to get the win, and I'm not mad at him, especially for him coming back his first game. It's a solid performance. But um, as far as the Miami Heat. Uh, Jimmy Butler has 17 and 8. Um, I don't see where that makes him the best player in the league, but we're going to move on. Uh, Bam Adebayo, who is the best player on this team, like I said, had 27 points, 16 rebounds, uh, three steals, two blocks. You know, great game on both ends, which is why I say he is the best player on this on this team. Um, Duncan Robinson had 13 points, uh, two assists. Very pedestrian uh, performance. Uh, Tyler Hero had 22 points, uh, three rebounds, four assists, um, 18 in the first half, if I'm not mistaken. So he kind of fizzled out in the uh, second half. But um, other than that, I mean, like I said, defensively, man, was our issue. There's late, late rotations, way too many wide open shots for the Boston Celtics. You know, they got what they wanted to. They attacked that zone that – that Miami likes to run all the time. They attacked it like they should have did the first two games. You know, there's a lot of um, wide open cuts that the Boston Celtics missed those first two games that really cost them down the stretch. Like every possession counts. When you're just giving up easy buckets, it eventually catches up and it bites you in your ass. So whether or not Boston would sustain this performance is yet to be seen. I still have Miami winning in six. Um, I know I said five last night. I was just trolling, y'all. I got them. I got them winning in six, though. I, I still feel like Miami will make their adjustments. Um, 
like I said, it was all energy. It was all effort. If they just played with a little bit more energy and effort like they have been um, all the other games in the playoffs, then they very well win this game. But it just looked like they gave this game to uh, Boston. So you can't afford to do that, not in this not in this day and age. You cannot afford to give up any games. As we've seen the Denver Nuggets come back from 3-1 in two consecutive series. So this ain't the time of day to be doing that. But um, I've been hearing a lot of people, right, um, Dean J Jason Tatum as the next Kobe and um, better than Devin Booker. That's why I brought up Devin Booker's stats, right? That's why I showed his accolades. Well, I ain't pulled up his stats. Don't make me put the ether body bags as some of y'all dudes. Don't make me body bag y'all dudes. I ain't bring up his stats. I, now, I could do that. All I was, you know, gave you a little appetizer. But um, in my opinion, he's not. Jason Tatum's not even the best player on his team. Jalen Brown. And that's not saying Jason Tatum wasn't the best player at one point. I feel like last year and maybe the year before that, he was the best player on the team, you know, or better than Jalen Brown. But Jalen Brown, his progression, you know, as years go on, as, as time is, is, is progressing, this dude is getting better and better every year, you know. I feel like. Jason Tatum is closer closer to his ceiling than Jalen Brown is, you know. Um, Jalen Brown on both ends is elite. You can't knock that. This dude is elite on both ends. And like I said, he's improving his three-point shot. Um, his ball handling, has, that's, what's improved, that's what's impressed me the most, is how his ball handling has improved. This dude, man, has a chance to be a legit problem. And the Boston Celtics have a dilemma on their hands. Because they're going to have to pay both of them eventually. You know, they're, they're eventually going to have to pay both of them. They're already paying Kimball Walker. I feel like they, that, that, that Kimball Walker contract is going to bite them in the ass soon because they're going to have to pay Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. they already paying Marcus Smart. They're paying Gordon Hayward. I don't know how many years left on this contract. But um, eventually I'm going to do the breakdown on the Boston Celtics so we can, we can look at that. But, um, yeah, they got a dilemma on their hands. And, um... Like I said, man, Jalen Brown is most definitely, or arguably, I should say, the best player on this team. You know, so before y'all come out here with this old Devin Booker disrespect, and, and and like I said, man, I'm not trying to shit on Jason Tatum. I like Jason Tatum. I, lo I love his game, actually. I do feel like he has flashes of Kobe, but Devin Booker is on a different level, offensively especially. Just a different level, you know? One can argue, because y'all keep saying, oh, with Jason Tatum, his rookie season went to the Eastern Conference Finals. One can argue he had way more help than Devin Booker. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go to the organizations and how the Phoenix Suns have proven that they're an incompetent organization throughout the past decade, at least, with the type of teams that they, they put out there. I got, tell me tell me what roster Sonny, Sonny Weems, right? I'm just going to throw a name out there. Sonny Weems. Archie Goodwin. Tell me what roster they played on that they had legitimate success on. You know, like when you have teammates like that, Allen Williams, Jared Dudley getting heavy minutes. Well, not so much Allen Williams. He was just pretty much a, a mascot, if you would. He was just pretty much a, you know, a cheerleader. But um, Jared Dudley was getting heavy minutes early on in Devin Booker's career. That's all I got to say. You know, so come on, let's cut the foolishness, man. I mean, and this could be argued, this could be debated, but I feel like it's an easy debate to win for me. If we're talking about who's better, Jason Tatum or Devin Booker. But that's, that's just my opinion, you know. Shout out to the Celtics. I ain't trying to take nothing from them. They're going to get their ass waxed in this playoffs, but, you know, there's levels to this shit. If Devin Booker was on his team, it wouldn't even be close in my opinion. It, they they it, they be on, on on the way to get a sweep into the NBA Finals, period, point blank. But uh, hit me next. That's all I got. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm out of here.